Hello guys, this is Ivan here. I hope you're well. So today I just arrived in the north of Tasmania, a town they call Dolorain. And it's a beautiful town. It has a lake, it's ducks everywhere, it's very quiet, it's amazing. So I come to photograph, but it's a bit overcast. I don't think we're gonna have sunset today. So I thought it would be cool to share what is in my backpack. I know you guys have seen plenty of those videos but it's quite it's good to get some inspiration and uh, yeah hope you guys like I'm just gonna find a quiet location where I can put my gears on the floor and everything and then I'll, I'll share with you come along Okay, let's start with the backpack. So for the last two years I've been using the Shimoda Action 50. It's a fantastic bag, it's amazing, comfortable. I'm not going deep in, in the details of the features of the backpack. You can see, um, you guys can see a lot of reviews out there. It's amazing, check them out. So let's dive in straight inside the bag because that's what this video is about, okay? So let's see. <laughs> Sorry guys, I have a lot, a lot of ducks here now. <laughs> That's crazy. So the first, the, um, the front, front pocket here, I have. Um, I can always carry this towel. It's good to dry my gear and everything. So I've got a uh, rain cover. I got like a sun hat, and then um, gloves. That's made it quite cold. I've got um, just essentials, uh, another rain jacket here, a, co a rain cover for my backpack in case I need. So on the front pocket, on the top pocket here, usually I I carry this bag. It's a, like a vacuum bag. Of, it's quite cool with uh, all my coffee essentials. I love having I love having my coffee when I'm hiking. So yeah. I'm gonna make a coffee soon. I'll leave it here. And then I have the So that's how um, usually I make my coffee. I got that's what I have. I use the and then uh, it's pretty simple straight forward. So put this thing here. With the gas, the I got my lighter, fire on. It's pretty easy. Put the water. And I've got my coffee. Ready to go. And I have this coffee machine here, the minute press. So I'm gonna link everything anyway, so you guys can check it out. So I just put uh, coffee here inside, twist them around, hit the water. I put the water here, and then I cover and just go straight to my cu cup. It's quite straightforward. I'm gonna leave it this. So. Yeah, that's it. That's my coffee. I'll leave it here. This mess. And now let's go straight at the back of the backpack with uh, the most important thing. Yeah, I also have a restore as well. I use in case of emergency. So yeah, that's a, that's a, my my all my gear. I use it. This one is very very good to dry up your your legs when it's raining and everything I keep that so what I have here is a let's start with the camera I have my X-T5 is a I have this this camera for two months a fantastic camera I have an X-T3 that I'm filming right now and then I have a uh, GoPro 10 I have a little cover as well that's uh, that's my my cameras 
The lens I have a 100 to 400 Fuji. It's a fantastic photo lens. I recommend. I have a 50 to 140. I don't care both. Usually, depend where I'm going. I take this or I take this. It depends how how long I'm gonna hike. So I have those two. I have a 10 to 24. The one I'm filming right now. I also have this fantastic kit lens from um, from Fuji as well. Uh, 18 to 55 it's amazing lightweight zoom it's good no complaints 2.8 is amazing I recommend so I have those I just put it here put the camera here as well nice and clean so uh, that's the GoPro is gone so that's a I don't know what is this uh, it's a medium microphone from GoPro I don't use much but sometimes so then I have a uh, a case filter lens. It's an amazing filter. It's very easy to use. So you get you get a filter. You have some ring. Go straight to the camera. Magnet. It's quite good. I I never had a problem with that. So it's it's a good one. A little bit here. I have also a filter for my GoPro. It's um. It's very easy to use as well, so you just get a get a GoPro. That's a cover for the lens, so you just twist, take it out. I get a circle polarizer on, put back, easy to change. It's good when I'm making. I use my GoPro to make some reels, quite good. So it's done, and then I have, of course. That's most essential as well, so you can take all the dust from your camera. You can buy them very cheap. Uh, I have a head touch. If you are like a nature landscape photographer, you know you need one of these. And a good one because you know you're always hiking at night for sunrise or come back for sunset, so it's essential. Um, I live here. And then I have a, a shot release. I use a shutter release more when I'm doing waterfalls uh, or, it's, or with the telephoto lens as well I use sometimes. I don't want to wait 10 seconds, the light change or something, I just use that and then just clicking. It's very good. So then I have that, this one I don't use much but this is a, a, um, in a macro extension. The macro extension is very good but just work with my 52 and 40. My other lens doesn't work. Uh, one to, to 400 works, but not work. So that's the only lens I can use this thing. It's good to take some photos, like, you know, some mushrooms in the rainforest. It's quite cool. It's good fun. Uh, what else I have done? Yeah, and then I have this bag. Inside of this bag, I use, let's put my back back here. A lot of ducks around, they're just coming around me. So I got a power bank, so I charge my phone. I have a spare battery. So I have um, more spare battery for my GoPro. And then I have a spare battery for my XT3, some SD card. And then I have this one, it's quite cool, that I use always. I got heaps of them on Amazon. They're quite cheap. So it's pretty much, you open it up, you get that. In case you wanna change the, your, the sense of your camera, so you use one of these. You don't really touch them. So you put one, one or two drop of this thing here. And then you go uh, pretty much on the sense of your lens here. Usually I do upside down and you just pass and you clean the lines. Very gentle. It's quite good, I always care with me. Not always I use it, but yeah. So I'm gonna save this one, I might use. Here you go. Yeah, that's it guys, that's, uh, that's pretty much what I carry. And then, yeah, some snacks when I'm gonna go. Uh, I did go, the, the tripod, I use a Bainroll tripod. So it's quite good tripod as well, lightweight, carbon fiber. Yeah, I'm used to, to film with my X-T3 and I have a microphone there. I'm really sorry about the outside noise. I don't really have a wireless 
wireless a microphone so my the audio maybe can be a little bit uh, not professional I guess <laughs> maybe if you know um, a nice wireless microphone please let me know in the comments and in the comments and if you have any any suggestion please let me know I would love to to um, yeah improve my gear and if you want to know anything I'm gonna link and uh, I'm gonna link um, all my gears and then you can, guys can check them out and uh, yeah pretty much it I hope you guys have a good one and uh, bye ciao